Hello, you guys. Oh my god. This is like our first official episode. Fun fact, actually, really sad fact. We don't know if this is going to go live or not. You didn't even say the name of our podcast. Well, I'm trying to give him the insights. Already want to do the whole outro and everything. I'm like, have a good one. See you later. Okay, no, but. If this goes live, that's amazing. You guys are going to get a little insight of our first official episode. episode. But welcome to Pretty, Pretty Not, Not Smart. <laughs> if you weren't wow. able to tell, I'm the pretty one and no. that's the not. <laughs> it's because we're both pretty and we're not the brightest. Yeah. So it made <laughs> sense to name it Pretty Not Smart. And you guys already know for everything, we're like, sorry, I'm pretty. Like... <laughs> I just feel like it's the best way to save your ass when you have like a dumb moment. Literally. Like every time I have so many dumb moments that it's like, Sorry, like I pretty. even agree how dumb my moments are sometimes. And I'm like, ew, like how am I that dumb? And when you can't spell. Oh yeah, you guys, I'm Louis the worst can't at spelling. spell to save his life. But anyways, this is our podcast, Pretty Not Smart, featuring <gasps> Louis, aka the baddest perra. And you Aka Y O A T Z L M N L B B L N Z. And if you guys did not know. We're siblings, which makes it more iconic, in my yes. opinion. Yes, and we have so many videos that we've already filmed together, so wanting to YouTube do a podcast channel. was like, it just felt so right, because we already don't shut the fuck up 90% of the time that we're together. So it was natural. Yay. I'm so excited. So a lot of people don't know that she is older than I am, so I'm going to set <gasps> the record straight. Right <laughs> no, away. it has nothing to do with the podcast, and I'm like, she's old. I'm just kidding. I'm all wrinkly. <laughs> no, but the funny thing is that people think I'm older than her. <gasps> it's because you look more mature. Ah, it's because you have wrinkles. <laughs> it's because he doesn't put his SPF on. <laughs> <laughs> I just started putting SPF on. Oh, we can tell. But yeah, a lot of people think that I'm older, but I think we're only, what, four years apart? Yeah. I think we're four years apart, but I, I don't know. I kind of, I like people thinking that I'm the older one because I'm very protective over both my sisters. Yeah, that's true. So I feel like when people think that like, if I'm being too overprotective, I feel like the role just fits yeah. like, oh, the older brother, but He's all taking I'm the care middle of me one. My sister. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, I think maybe because like you're male, I automatically assume like, yeah, you're like the protector. But I feel like people Andrea. see me because I'm so like fan vibes, like a little dwink. Everyone <laughs> thinks that I'm be like, oh, don't hit me. But like, uh-uh. definitely not. I will put up the biggest bun in the world, if especially when it to, comes to family. Yeah, if Louis needs to, oh, you don't want to see his bad <sighs> side. I'll literally break my nails off. Like, <laughs> We're like, but vice versa, like. You don't want to mess with the Castros. Oh, Yo, yeah. Yo, no, and Andrea, yeah. my whole family's like that. We're literally the sweetest people. I don't want you guys to think that we're just looking for fights because we're not. We're no, not. but I think people trip out because we're the sweetest people and we'll literally try to keep it that way. But if people sometimes push it to the limit, there's times oh, where you just got to stand up for yourself. Not, yeah. Or stand up. And I think we all have that thing where like you can mess with me all you want. Nobody cares. But the time, the moment you get into like family absolutely not that's when the bun i feel like up. too dude every time like something has happened with like louis with all your bullying and all that like oh, yeah. from high school mm. i put up the biggest bun i was like we're not doing this here mama mm -hmm. <gasps> even with like even our little sister andrea like oh. i think that's what gets people the most shook and i personally feel that way like it's always what do they say the quiet ones are the ones you should be afraid of yeah 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 los más los más calmaditos yeah yeah los más yeah. calmaditos because it's We're just... calmaditos, pero <laughs> us mad. Fear us. Ah. Ah, we're all trying to start a fight right I now. Know, ah. <laughs> no, you guys, we're actually really sweet. We are really all sweet. Right. And no, I love that because like every time we meet like supporters or subscribers, they come up to us and like, you guys are like the sweetest people. I know that and, always like, warms my heart. Me too. And I love when they call us humble because like we come from poor beginnings. Like we, we were really not really poor, but we were pretty poor when yeah, we were growing we up. we struggled a lot. So I feel like that stuck with me in my heart. And, like, no matter what, si Diositos quiere and we, mm -hmm. like, make it bigger, I'm always going to stay humble. Like, it's all yeah. about staying humble. And, and I feel like back. that's how we were, like, raised. And I feel like a yeah. lot of people, like, even our viewers, I feel like a lot of you guys relate to the same, like, upbringing and how yes. we all, like, or a lot of us are, like, first generation, college, or even just, like, with our family and stuff like that. So yeah. I think just having that background is always a good reminder wherever you are in life or wherever you're making it. And I think, like I said, most of our viewers also have that like goal of like wanting to help our families out and our yeah. parents. So I feel like that's why we have such a strong connection with you guys because you guys relate to a lot of the stuff that we do or like when yes. we give back to our family or our community. And 
I think that's why we have such a strong loving relationship with you guys. Porque nos entendemos. We understand y'all and y'all understand us. Period. And it's a very beautiful connection. connection. And I think that's another reason why we started this podcast. Yes. So we don't shut the fuck up. Yeah. And so we can talk to you guys more. Mm-hmm. And so we can get on like that deeper level. <laughs> and since we're talking about connections... Uh, we wanted to talk about mine and Yoatsi's relationship. We hate up. each other so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like we weren't that close. Okay, we were super close when we were little because Yoatsi was the first born. I was yeah. the second born. So we had a little relationship there. That was cute. But then I feel like our teenage years, we weren't that close. <laughs> because I became like, you know, that teenager that's yeah. like, I hate my siblings. Get out yeah, of my yeah, room. Yeah. Like, I went through my little emo phase and like, I just did not want to be around my siblings. Just that like was... middle school, high school friends. Yeah. Like you had your own little world going on. Yeah. And we were still like chamaco vibes compared yeah. to like, Yotsi was already going through like beauty. She was like getting hombres and shit like boys. that. Yeah. And Louis and Andrea were like, let's go make mud pies. Yeah. We were like over here. I'm picking our noses and <laughs> shit. <laughs> making mud pies. <laughs> yeah. So then I got really close to Andrea. Yeah. And me and Andrea were like besties for like, I remember even high school, like I would hang out with her. Like I already had my car. Like me and Andrea were really, really close. I think that's what's good about you, like being the middle child, because you got to get close to like both me Mm -hmm. and Andrea in different stages of like our life. Literally. Yeah. And then I got really close to Yoatsi. Even because of social media. I feel like that's something that's like really cool. Yeah. Because like, I feel like when Louis started doing his channel, that's kind of when he was like, you need to come out of my videos. Yeah. And like, I was like, okay, like I was never really camera shy or like video shy or any of that. So yeah. I was like, okay, I'm down. And I feel like we'd be filming so often that it made us like get closer again. Yeah. And then like, well, you had Travis at a young age as well. Yeah. And I feel like I, I'm going to take the credit, but I almost feel like I helped her come out of her senora life. No, She's you- still like senora <laughs> life, but like. She was falling no. into this. Okay, this bitch literally had Travis when she was. She had just turned twenty one, like fresh, yes. fresh out of the womb, twenty one. Yeah, and she literally. was already a comadre. <laughs> I was a comadre with the highlights and everything, you guys. Like, <laughs> no, it's just, I have post a picture right here. <laughs> no, but like, I I don't know. I feel like obviously having a baby to all our moms out there, you guys understand. Like, it's almost like a whole. I'm sure you girls feel like a shift in your life. Yeah, right? you just. I feel like once you have a baby for the first time, at least. I feel like I completely lost myself in this, like, I didn't know if I could, because I felt like, okay, I can't be a mocosa anymore. I can't be a teenager. I have to be mature. And somewhere in between, I had to find, like, how am I going to dress? How am I going to yeah. act? And I, I didn't know if to be señora or mocosa. It's so. almost like stereotypes or, like, gender norms where people are like, you have a kid, you better act yes. like you're 40 plus or 50 plus. And, like, like, before I was pregnant, all I would wear was, like, skinny jeans with, like, crop tops mm-hmm. and, like, very, like, very, like, girly vibes. Mm-hmm. So then after I had Travis, I feel like I couldn't dress like that anymore because I was like, they're going to judge me. Like, esta mamá, mira como se viste. Yeah, very, very those vibes. Yeah. So I feel like she was falling into a hole and I had to, like, Re- I was like for her shopping and bring her at out. like Macy's in the Senora department. <laughs> yeah. Like she, I was like, what happened? <laughs> I was like, mm, but um, my best. then I kind of like we started doing like social media together, and I feel yeah. like we both experienced like coming into LA for the first time and stuff like that like I had came like a few times I was like I need to bring you and like so all of this whole social media was like really new to the both of us yeah dude I still remember you know it's funny because like I said I had a hard time like adjusting to that new social media life and Louis would tell me like I like you're so dumb you could be so pretty but like (laughs) arreglate (laughs) and I was just like I don't know what to do so the first time that Louis brought me to LA he was like you better wear cute clothes like you better you know and I was like okay and I didn't know any better so I went on Fashion Nova to like go shop oh yeah but dude the clothes that I bought like might as well (laughs) stay at Macy's in the Senora department dude I forgot about that dude the first time we were gonna meet like one of Louis's like really close friends and I was like me voy a poner me puse like leggings with this sweater that had hella long strings in the bottom. It looked like a abuelita sweater. Like oh, yeah, it I was not and even no. I remember when I like got to the airport, Louis picked me up. He's like, What's that? And I was like, mm. <laughs> like I didn't know what to wear. I was so <sighs> nervous. But now ugh. we had to like dig her out of that hole. It's cause Mira, yeah, dude. It's one of those things where like 
like you're you all need to look good you know because like you <laughs> represent each other so i was he like, was like Bitch, you need to look good no i was just <laughs> like i can't be looking like all perra vibes and her be like now nah, yeah no i i had a hard time but definitely coming over here to la and like just being exposed to all this more made me feel like okay you're not a vieja like you're definitely not like 60 years old like yeah. dress young and honestly laura too laura's boutique hella oh, yeah. inspired me because seeing laura and she had elliot already and the way that she would dress i was like oh my god laura looks like she's like 20 she looks so <sighs> young so i was like not me too so then i feel like i got inspo from like laura well like, she was in her 20s but you you mean like early early, early 20s, 20s. yeah like, i meant like early 20s like she looked super young and i i was like early 20s tambien, but i was feeling like 60 yeah <laughs> so i think she was able to really see like other people and how they manage like mommy life and like yes. social personal life as well uh -huh. so you were like oh i can do that i was like period i can do it but and then you was born yeah i definitely think social media brought us really close yeah, and helped sure. our bond get even closer and yeah so we really want to talk about our childhood and yes. what our relationship was like because we have some funny stories we have a lot of funny stories and hopefully it just helps you guys get to know us on like that deeper level because we have talked about like some stories when we were kids on our youtube mm -hmm. but we'll share new ones today because i feel like <laughs> this is why we're so excited to do this platform because on youtube i felt like my videos could not go over 30 minutes yeah. or i was just gonna be like now but but yeah, i feel like yeah, having yeah. this podcast is just gonna allow for our conversations to go like longer and like talk, 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 talk. yeah and just like have an actual conversation yeah but before we get into that <laughs> i think we forgot to address the elephant in the room which one ah uh, <laughs> bar fucking said it <laughs> <laughs> I'm all looking like I know you're all looking at yourself. Ah. <laughs> like, what's going on? You're like, am I flashing them? Ooh. No, so mm. <laughs> that's Sorry, all our whole yeah, setup. We're, just like, mm. <laughs> we're like, we try. No, <laughs> okay, you guys. So, like we said, this is what our we think might be episode. our first episode. So, we are in the works of not only decorating <laughs> but having a whole new setup yes and buying some cute furniture and shit so like if you guys watch if you don't watch we can't afford new furniture <laughs> <laughs> they're like sorry about it they're like, Ugh. no it's just it's a work in progress y'all yes, so it is. And it's gonna bonito. look so pretty yeah. ah, looks like shit. Ah, ah, we're like, mm. they're like when is it gonna look pretty ah, ah, after so we like, have it all set up yeah. <laughs> Like oh, <laughs> they're like, hey babes, it's been about ten episodes. It looks not so <laughs> it great, look so good. Nah, nah, nah. Y'all know one thing about it is that we like to go full out. So we'll be shopping at Home Goods. <laughs> uh, I know everything. All the etiquettes are on everything. I know. No, I feel like we love decorating and what? It's because I always leave the etiquettes on everything, so I low key I feel like too. it's on this. It is. Oh, I knew it. I told. I was like, "There's wait, no way." <laughs> wait, I do the same thing. My mom's like, every time my mom goes to my house, she's like, "Si, si tengo preguntas de cuánto cuesta algo, I just look because siempre dejas las etiquetas." Dude, like, why do we do that? Because I thought it was just me. <laughs> it's because you know what I do? I buy it and I find a spot for. I'm like, that's where it looks cute. I leave it and I I leave it. No, and my reasoning for it is, <laughs> I put it in the spot and I want to give it a few days to see if I love it or not. So if I don't love it, I can return it. So I leave oh. the tag. Literally, you guys, these little pink chairs, she's had them for like over a year. I literally just ripped off the tag right now because it was Is right Is it there. under? Get it out. Show them. Ah. I don't want to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm but it's, it's down there. <laughs> but um, yeah, so our setup is going to look so much cuter. We but we were ideas We were really stuff. eager to film this already. So we're like, you know what? Forget the... Lo que importa es la plática. Sí, no importa yeah, la decoración. Yeah, no importa la decoración. So that'll come <laughs> after. Be patient with us. But how far back should we go? To when you were in the womb. What do you remember? Uh, <laughs> do you remember when I used to sing to you in the uh, stomach? <laughs> no, you don't remember when I was in my mom's womb. I left you a little sign in there. You don't remember what it said? Uh, uh, no, but you know what I do remember? I'm going to put you on blast. Aww. I do remember when we were little. <gasps> no, I'm scared. <laughs> when we were little, I I took a lot of inspo from Yoatsi. Because she was she was the older one. So like She was I, the pretty one. Ah no, I just I you know you're a kid. You need like someone to follow and stuff. So I remember when we were little, Yoatsi would always get mad at me for copying her. Shut up. You don't remember? You would get so no. mad. You would tell my mom, like, the way Yoatsi <laughs> would color 
or the the things that you had to withdraw or stuff. She'd be like, "Ma, siempre me está copiando Luis." <laughs> Shut up. Yes, I you would get so, and you would get, and I'd always be like, hmm. like I didn't know what was wrong with it. And she's Aww. like, ¿Y por qué siempre me copias? And I was like, like, I'm like, he wants to be me so bad. Yeah, no, it was very that. And I was like, Ooh. You're like, I'm trying to come out. Ah, <laughs> For real, that was my side. <laughs> I was like, hey, mom. What the heck? But I, I feel like that. a lot of like my childhood, I remember you getting mad at me because I would copy you. I'm trying so hard to remember that. And I was just like, great. No, what I remember, I don't remember that, but I remember Louis being the biggest bully Ever. Bully. bully brother to me and Andrea. At what age? At like three? <gasps> always. No. You're always being a mocoso running around. And he would like take our stuff. and be, Oh my God. Really? So there was this moment. I don't know where he got it from. The finger pointing thing when you'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That or- <laughs> I hated that so much, you guys. Like we would get in trouble and be like, mommy, like Luis me pegó. <laughs> And my mom was like, Luis, is cierto? He'd be like, no. And then in the back, he'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hide behind, I'd hide behind my parents, but my parents would never catch Dude, me. Dude, I hated <laughs> They'd that. be like getting them in trouble because like I'd either save my ass or I'd lie about something. Yeah. And I'd go. <laughs> <laughs> because they wouldn't believe them. And we would get so mad because like he would get away with it. <laughs> so he would just like li- the whole day. He'd just like. <laughs> and then they would get so mad and they'd start crying. Andrea especially. Yeah. You got Andrea so many times with that moment. I feel like I gave Andrea like anger issues. Cause oh, like she was like oh, she would try so hard to make my parents. <laughs> she'd be like, look, look, he's doing it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, right when I'd go like this, she'd be like, look. And then I'd be like, like, oh, I don't know what she's talking about. Carita, like, mm, mm. <laughs> and I think because I was like the boy of the family, I've always been like a mama's boy. So oh, my mom yeah. would be like, Minga, mi amor. Ah, minga, mi amor. <laughs> she would always like baby me. <laughs> I... Yeah, I was definitely a mama's boy. My mom but would yeah, always was, have my back. And he was mean to us. <laughs> I feel like he just naturally as a boy, he was just like being, you know, travieso vibes. Like very travieso. Yeah, I had, I was very travieso vibes. Like, you know, wait, I just, sorry. I just remembered a moment too. He had so much energy growing up. Mm-hmm. He'd always be like, like how he is now. Picture him like younger and just like crazier. And like, yeah. like I feel like now you're old enough to control yourself. <laughs> For real. But when he was mocoso, like, dude, he could not control himself. And sometimes he'd be like, my mom would come up to me and she'd be like, yo, Atsita, ¿crees que el visito se va a calmar cuando crezca? <laughs> like, <laughs> you think he que va a ser más calmado? And I was like, oh, no, mom, he's going to be like this for life. She's like, you think so? Like, my mom all concerned. No, my mom literally <laughs> took me to the doctor because of that. Yeah. Because my mom was just like, I guess she wanted to see if something was wrong with me. Because he was st- way too hyper. But the reason... Because it wasn't like she randomly was like, I'm going to take him. It's also because the teachers at school would complain that yes, I couldn't yes. stay still or that, like, I had too much energy and, like, that I wouldn't Muy pay attention. Imperativo. Yeah. So I think my mom was like, okay, I'm going to take him to the doctor and see if he's, like, okay. okay. And, I mean, obviously I was so young, but I, I told my, I asked my mom, I was like, do, do, do you think they said that I had, like, ADD or something like that? And then, obviously, she doesn't really remember because this was when I was, like, in elementary school. Yeah, he was pretty young. But she said that. She's pretty sure they did say that because they tried giving me pills. Yes. Which, obviously, for some people who struggle with, like, ADD or ADHD. Uh-huh. They dan pastillas to, like, help you, like, calm. Mm-hmm. So, my mom said that they prescribed me, like, pills and something. Yeah. And <clears throat> me dio una pastilla. And I guess she only gave me one because she was like, oh, I guess it's going to calm him. But she said that she was, like, even crying because she said that I was so calm. Yeah. And. And she didn't like it. And then after she was just like, oh, like, así es como va a estar todo triste. Like, this isn't him. Like, this is not his personality. Mm. So she was like, it's okay. I'd rather struggle and let him be crazy than to have him all triste vibe. Yeah, because she said that I was just, like, sitting there. Like, I just looked tired or, like, yeah. sad. And she was like, ew, like, I'd rather him be, like, hella full energy vibes. And yeah. And that's how mother. Louis was born. Yeah, <laughs> literally. No, and, like, now she tells me all the time. She's like, I'm glad that, like, I just let you be you and do your thing because, like, Obviously, I found this amazing platform with y'all who support my mensadas. Dude, like, yes. it's so funny. I'll be posting, like, the randomest shit. Or, like, now that I live alone, like, I'll be posting dancing <laughs> videos and stuff. And people are like, dude, you're, like, crazy. Like, are you okay? Yeah. Or, like, people will be like, pobrecito. <laughs> like, the way <laughs> you guys yeah, do. Yeah, I'm like, pobrecito. <laughs> or they'll be like, or they'll be like, um... They'll be like, ma'am, I think he's out again. Ah! Like, stuff like that. Sometimes, like, when he's crazy and we're at home, I'm like, mami, no le dice Luis sus pastillas, soy verdad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit like that. But, like, my mom always, like, makes it, like, a joke now. She's yeah, like, I'm just glad, joke. like, you able to got your got to do your thing. And, like, I didn't put you on, like, those So, if you're crazy, let it be you. And 
be crazy you because you never know like, yeah it's just like be unique your personality <laughs> yeah that's just how you are you're crazy yeah i wonder what would have happened if i would have done that but you'd probably be like an accountant or something <laughs> <Bitch> <laughs> an accountant? I don't know. Uh, you'd probably actually be smart <laughs> no it's because i'm be so ugly dumb and smart <laughs> no okay no look you guys i Ooh. would you consider yourself like like book smart or like street smart I feel like I'm half and half. Yeah. Because I went to school. Yeah, you're right. I got my bachelor's. And like when I really wanted to dedicate myself to something, I could get it. So I feel like I'm book smart and street smart. I feel like I'm just like street smart and Mm -hmm. like I'm a visual person. So school was so hard for me, you guys, because I couldn't pay attention. And it's not even because I was like, oh, I hate this. Like, I don't want to pay. I couldn't. Like, I get distracted with the easiest things ever. Um, I hated it because everything was like reading or like whiteboard writing. And I was like, if you just give me something to see, I have like picture memory and like I can remember things really easily yeah but it was so annoying and like teachers literally told me that i was dumb because i couldn't like learn but i just have a different way of learning and i feel like when it comes to serious stuff i'm really serious and i feel like i'm really smart so like it's something that i have to remind myself of because my whole life i was literally told that i was just dumb but like no like now Ah, the podcast pretty not smart (laughs) no but like i can make it a joke now because i know i'm an airhead about certain things but it doesn't hurt me anymore now because I, i there's I basically know that, like, I'm not dumb dumb. I just have a different way of, like, learning. Like, yeah. even in college, when, like, I had really good, great grades in college. I was, like, straight A's oh, at yeah, some point. Oh, yeah, yeah, you had really good grades. I had a really That's good GPA, true. too. But the thing with me is that it would take me an extra step to learn something that someone could learn really yeah, easily. Yeah, pobrecito, dude. I would the, have to stick, like, after school The way that I remember shit. he would, like, when we were in college, because we went to the same school, in case you mm-hmm. didn't know, we went to yeah, CSU Yeah, we went to college together. Um, in Monterey. Louis would stress out about like your history papers. Remember? I would literally cry. Like he would read and read and read it. He's like, I don't get it. Like, Mm -hmm. help me. And then, so I would read it and then I would explain it to him in a way that I knew he could understand it. And then he'd be like, oh, like that makes so much more sense. Like, why do they write it like this? Like some of the prompts were ridiculous. And then my mom would always be like confused because Yoatsi would go home like after she was done and stuff. But I would have to, I would literally stay on campus till like two in the morning. That's true. You would stay so late. Yeah, and then she'd be like, are you okay? Are you still there? And like my mom too. But it's because I had to take an extra step to learn things. And I also had to like, I needed a quiet environment. And at home, because I get distracted so easily, if I could hear like Yoatsi laugh, I'd be like, I'd want to go out and like <laughs> list or like I'd pretend like I had to grass in the evening and like just socialize yeah. with y'all. So I was like, okay, I'm in school. There's nothing else to do here but like study. Uh-huh, but, how boring. It's so miserable. Yeah, it fucking sucks. But I'm able to make a joke out of it now because I know I am smart in different ways. But like now it's just, it's funny to me because I do realize how much of an airhead I am. Sometimes like I suck at spelling and I get, you know how, Ooh, you want to know how bad guys. I am at spelling, you guys? And I want to like, ugh, I get mad at my iPhone because you know how like when you... <laughs> Write something wrong, it underlines it red, and then you press and it gives you the correct way of spelling it. Yeah. I spell shit so ah. wrong that when I click it, it says, like, um, there's, like, a little message that says it doesn't know what I'm trying to write. It's all confused. It's, like, not found. Yeah, I think yeah. that's what it says. Yeah. Like, when you press it, it says, like, not found. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, so I have to use the stupid, like, speaking thing and be, like, say the word. Oh. Like, recently I was trying to spell chiropractor. And I, I guess I was spelling it so wrong. Because I would press it and it said, like, word not found. Like, it doesn't know. And I was like, Ugh. I'm trying to think of an example. But there's so many times where he's like, how do you spell this? And me and Andrea just look at each other and we just laugh, like, for but, real. Yeah. <laughs> like, I still don't know how to spell oh, weather. I don't know. It's like whether you want to do this or not or like what's the weather? I don't know how to spell that. Weather, I'm all spelling it for you. It's W-E-A-T-H-E-R. That's weather. They sound the same. They do. Mm -hmm. English is hard. So you're fine. That's why you're pretty not smart. Yeah, that's why we're pretty not smart. So if you're like us, then you're also pretty not Not smart. smart. (laughs) <laughs> and if you're both amazing i'm jealous. by the end of this podcast series we will all be pretty and smart ah. let's pray every episode we have a spelling bee <laughs> wait that would be funny spelling ah, that would be funny wait that would yeah, be funny yeah. you guys should like comment a word no because then it's gonna say ha- when they come no, but i won't look ah oh. I, I have a really bad memory. I won't even remember how it's spelled. Okay, and then I'll so, read it to you. I'm yeah, like, like if you guys should you comment, spell? like, this should be the word of the, the day. <laughs> and then you test me, and I'll yeah, see, yeah, like, yeah, I can, yeah. like, remember That would it. be that so That would be funny. sickening. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I feel like we want to start with our scary, scary stories. stories to tell in the dark. So this is, like, from our, this is a really vivid, oh I think I've talked about God. this on my channel. Yes. Uh, yeah, we You did know what I'm going to talk about? On a mukbang? Yes. Yeah, you already do. This is the one that has me 
fucked up because Same. to this day I'm like it was real. It's like, still cause the anxiety. I almost squishing my dude, head. Dude, I know I'm all like anxiety till this day, you guys. So I feel like this Ooh. is a really vivid memory that we both have oh when God. we were younger. When we were younger, we lived in the first house that my parents were able to ever like really get. So it was like this yes. cute little two story house, and we. I feel like we experienced a lot of like paranormal shit in there. We definitely did. Like a lot. And then later we learned, you're going to see, but later we learned that there was a lot of paranormal stuff because I guess the previous tenant would do witchcraft in one of the bedrooms upstairs. Yeah, that's what we had heard. And we were like, like once we heard that, everything made, made sense. sense. So we're like, oh. And no, and what was even creepier, it was, they would do it in the room that we used to stay in. Yes. And so then once <laughs> yeah. my parents found out, they switched us rooms. They're like, ooh. Because my switch. my parents, it was only a two bedroom house, and my parents used to have the master bedroom. But because once they found out about that scary shit, they gave us the master bedroom, and they stayed in the little smaller room. Yeah, just like I guess to be like safe. But this is like one really like vivid memory that me and Yoati Ooh. have, and I feel like it's just crazy. So basically, how it happened from what I remember, because it's so many years ago, and I have really yeah. bad memory. From what I remember, how old do you think we were? I was definitely in elementary school. Yeah. I think you were in elementary school too. I think so too. I, I kind of want to say like, like, like fifth grade. Yeah. And I was, I was probably, probably like what? Third grade or second. Yeah. Yeah. We were little. And it's like one of those things where like, obviously when you're super young, you don't have a lot of memory about things. But when you have like a traumatic or like a really scary thing, you're going to fucking <laughs> you remember, remember it. it. And so we were downstairs. I think we were on the sofa watching movies. I mean, you actually just always like love watching movies. Yeah. No, it was, we did like a little sleepover. Oh, I, that's what I was going to say. We were like on a yeah. mattress, right? We were on a mattress. Oh, okay. We had remember. asked my, my parents, like, can me and Louie have a sleepover like mm -hmm. downstairs? We just wanted to like, I don't know, feel cool downstairs yeah. with the big old TV and like have a little night, you know? So like we had a little inflatable mattress uh -huh. and... Were we watching something scary? I don't remember. I don't think so. I think we were just like chilling, watching. Yeah, because our parents we wouldn't let like, us watch. Yeah. My mom would be like, this was el diablo. They yeah. wouldn't let us watch scary movies. <laughs> Especially if it was at night. Hell no. Yeah, they would no. not let us watch something scary. But I don't know why, but we heard something. Mm -hmm. And we both immediately like like looked at each other and went under our sheets. Yeah, nos tapamos con las cobijas and we're like, and we were like no, no, no. And like, like, keep in mind, by this time, we had already experienced so many paranormal shit in this house. Yeah, so we're like, great, here we go. Yeah, so then we were like, look, look, like, we didn't want to look. We were both hella scared. Bitch, tell me why we had, so our living room was connected to our kitchen, and our kitchen was like a little hallway going, like, down. Yeah. And oh, you remember it all good. Yeah, the yeah. moment you turned around, the first thing you would see was a little window. I don't know why the fuck, our, our door our that door needed to the backyard, backyard had yeah. a little window. It was yes. just like a little cuadrito. Like, I haven't seen a fucking door like that in a long I know, time. It was like, weird. Like, back in the day, you know how they had, like, little granja homes? Like, farm oh, yeah. homes, and then those had little windows? Yeah. Ours looked like that. Like they had, that. like, a random little glass window with, like, little curtains. Mm -hmm. And the little curtains, sometimes my mom would, like, open them para que cerrara la ventanita. But at this point, she had them, like, where they were, like, open. So it was kind of like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could see an like opening. Open. Bitch, tell me why me and Yoati both decided to like take a peek at that window because we're the like exact same time because that's where the sound it sounded like it was coming from. Yeah, we look, bitch, we both scream absolutely, and not. we go under the sheets and we're like, <laughs> <laughs> we're both like getting murdered downstairs, and we're like, <laughs> like I don't know, we were fucking scared, and then we just like ran uh -huh. upstairs like in ching. We didn't even like have time to communicate with each other. Yeah. Nothing. We just both booked it upstairs and we ran to our parents and we're like crying we're and like, like <laughs> once everything like went down we like we said we saw some shit i think i was the one who like got like nervous and was like what did you see yeah yeah we, we like we were both like wait what'd you see because we i i we i got the impression that i was like we must have seen the same thing because this was fucking scary like yeah. we both screamed hysterically and we both like got super freaked out so then that's when i told louie and i was like well and I was like, when I looked in the window, yeah, I'm oh, getting scared. Getting scared too, getting <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> something pulls End me right now. The, <laughs> <laughs> the ghost no, is like, all right. dude, I'm getting like goosebumps. Oh, that's so creepy. So I told him and I was like, well, when I looked in the window, I saw like, I said like a werewolf. Yeah, we both right? said like a werewolf. Like a werewolf with his hands like this, just like peeking at us in the window. We're like, <laughs> but you like know what was scary? Looking at us. The moment she said werewolf, I got scared because that's what I saw. Like I hadn't yeah. told her what I had seen. And then we both said with the hands like this. We're like, with the hands like this? Yes. We're the like, moment yeah. we said that, we were like, <laughs> y'all. Like, we saw the same thing. 
<laughs> and I don't give a fuck if y'all don't believe in paranormal shit or what Dude, the fuck's good. Yes. What a fucking coincidence. The fact that we both saw the same thing oh, and we described it the in the same hands, way with like, the face. Oh, the face. Dude. Yeah. And it was just like, like literally almost como si fuera un perro like opening its a mouth. Ver, like, I'm like, <laughs> right. yeah, I was just really like, I like, was my dad. <laughs> it was I our neighbor. It was, oh my God. Imagine <laughs> they just had a mask on and they wanted to fuck and with us. They wanted to fuck with us. <gasps> we solved the mystery. <laughs> That's what it was. Imagine. <gasps> No, it was I, our neighbors Arthur and Fernie. Yeah, no, I'd rather keep thinking it was a ghost. All right, yeah. no, you guys, but it that was, was crazy so how scary. vivid we both like experienced it and like remembered it. Yeah, and the moment she told me that's what she saw, I literally was like, "We're gonna die!" Like this werewolf like, is gonna <gasps> come after us. And after that, I don't think we like did a little sleepover like that for a long yeah, time. No. And like the traumados. reason the reason it was scary is because like our imagine one. How was our imagination going to experience the same thing? And yes. two, we weren't really allowed, not even really, we weren't allowed to watch scary movies when we were little. Yeah. My parents literally would not let us be like, yes, del diablo, like, like blah, blah, blah. I feel like the scariest thing that I watched growing up was Chucky, that I remember, like, oh, yeah. vividly, Chucky, pero ahí no habían werewolves. Yeah, <laughs> like, our parents really wouldn't even allow us to watch that shit in their house and stuff. I feel like yeah. the first scary movie that I ever watched in my whole life was, like, um paranormal activity back when i was already like oh, in middle school or something yeah i was already in high school and my parents were so mad at us for watching like, that I mean, just... <laughs> we didn't even tell me we were gonna watch that and they were like telling us shit but yeah that's why i'm saying like we experienced all this paranormal stuff when we were like younger and we didn't have the imagination to like imagine these things because we had never really watched stuff like that that's so scary so do you remember scary. if we told my parents yeah, I think we eventually we told them we were, they were like, Mleh. yeah, they didn't believe us. I get those vibes that they were just like, shut up. But then another thing, my parents, one thing, like now that we're older and we still talk about these things, our parents told us that they kept like a lot of little things like that from us because they didn't oh, want us to get scared. Oh, yeah. That house was, oh, I feel like we should make a whole Very episode yeah. on like the paranormal shit we've we dealt with in that house. A lot. And, and unfortunately, we moved to apartments mm. and I got some pretty scary paranormal stuff there. It like followed her. There. Uh, no, I think this was a fresh new ghost. I'm not no, even kidding. No, it was no, the same one. No, it was not one. the same one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I wanted you. <laughs> All right. I was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> wanted me. For real? No, I think it was a completely separate ghost. But ever since that, I don't think I've really experienced anything like that. Uh, no, it's because they, they blessed your room. Well, we'll get into that in another in episode another if you guys want to hear. Because we have a lot of... But I feel like when I think childhood, honestly, you guys... Like mining got his childhood. That's one of the first things I think about. Is like that little werewolf. <laughs> that shit. little werewolf thing. What and else? then, should we? No. Wow, wow. You shouldn't tell him about your parties. What? <gasps> no. <laughs> we won't go full into detail. <gasps> no. Sorry about it. You wanted to be on a podcast. Ah! Okay, you guys. So oh, okay, I'm gonna leave right here. <laughs> <laughs> no. And the reason I want to talk about this one is because we're trying to talk about how our bond got really close when we were younger. That's okay. what this whole episode's about. So if you're not gonna open up, then get out of my podcast. All ah, right, Tom. I'm like leaving the headphones on. I'm like <laughs> the podcast name changes to not smart. <laughs> Just not smart. The pretty left. <laughs> no. Okay. So when Yancy was in high school, she was trying to be a badass. No, I was trying to fit in. It was high school, right? Yeah. It was, it was high school. It was high school. It was like my junior and senior year of high school. Of you guys like... Mm, mm. Yeah, it was all my parties. So when senior. you were like junior and senior, I was like a what? Seventh grade, eighth grade? Yeah. No, I was like sixth or seventh grade. Yeah? Yeah, because I remember I dyed my hair blue when I was oh, in sixth yeah, grade. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. So I was like in sixth grade. <laughs> Yatsu was probably like a junior. Es que me aloqué, you guys, because my mom was so strict. Mm -hmm. Mom and dad, so strict, they would not let us do... Wa well, me. Because I was like the guinea pig. I was the first one. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't let me do nothing. I couldn't go anywhere. No parties. So when they gave me a little bit of freedom, I was like, Wah! I like me a loque. And she was super like, my parents had her like on a leash so Ooh, tight that like when she Ooh. wanted to start going to parties, my mom really only let her go because <laughs> I would go with her. Yeah, like, she's like, te vas a llevar a Luis. Yeah. And you're too like, <laughs> no. I'm telling y'all. She was saying I was the mean one. She was the mean one. <laughs> She's like, no me copies, and now Look, you don't want me to go to my. It's, that's natural. I feel like all the grown, uh, all the grown, uh, all the teenagers get stuck with the little siblings. Yeah. Like, aunque no quieramos, the parents somehow think that because you take the sibling, te vas a portar más bien or something. But I think my mom would be like, te vas a llevar a Luisito because I was like a mama's boy. So my mom oh. would be like, ¿Qué hizo yo a ti? Yeah, ah. she would be like, ¿Qué hizo? like she would always ask me like, ¿Qué hizo se portó bien? But me and Yuati ended up, I feel like this is why we got so close during that time because, <laughs> so I would go with Yuati and I was like, where are we going? 
Knowing guys like <laughs> all innocent. when I was in sixth grade, you, like I feel like when I was in sixth grade, I was like, oh, I'm an adult. But you're thinking a sixth grader like just left elementary school. Like, oh my god, that's being pinche mocoso. I yeah. probably don't even know how to wipe my ass. I was like, hurry up, vámonos. And <laughs> um, you would go to like high school parties and stuff, and she would take me. And it ended up becoming fun because I think all of Yuati's friends would always be like, what? Like, why is your brother here? Like, everyone thought it was weird, but once they got yeah. to know me, they all thought I was like but fun. He's so fun. Yeah. Bring him always. So then Yuati was like, okay, I'll start bringing him. And like, obviously, my mom would let her go out more the more she would let me go. Yeah. But like, I feel like me and Yuati's little bond started that way because I wouldn't tell my mom what would happen in these parties, but yeah. because I would have a fun time with her. So she'd be like, and I was like, well, we just sat down and played Uno. Literally. I was like, just like, we did nothing. We just played with the Wii. I know. She's like, Tomaron. And I was like, no. Mm. Ah, ah, we both get all quiet. Everyone here had a drink before no. they were 21. Shh, no. Sorry about it. It's not like we would well, get drunk. Yeah. No, we wouldn't get drunk. But like me and my friends thought it was cool to like sip on like four locos and stuff. Oh, yeah. Four locos and MD 2020s. Oh. Oh. <gasps> my whole life I've been trying to remember what those were. MD 2020s. Oh my God. The little <laughs> colorful ones. Yeah. Dude, they and they'd be like, what color do you want? And they they'd be like blue, purple. Disgusting. But, uh, I wonder if they still exist. I, I've never, my whole life, I'd be like, you would make me drink this one. Well, she wouldn't make me, but like, I tried. I'm not shoving it down I know, like, oh. No, oh, but I was like, what were these things? But they were like, whatever. MD20, so we're so nasty. Yeah, we're not encouraging underage drinking or anything like Definitely that whatsoever. Not. But like, I'm just saying like, we had tried it. And um, I feel like I never remembered what those were called, but everything was like affordable, like alcohol. So I think that's why they would get it. Dude, honestly, if you ask me to this day how we got it, I still don't even remember how we got it. I, I think just whatever party I, I went to, they were there. And I was like, yeah, okay. But also, like, I couldn't get drunk or anything because, like, if I acted some type of way yeah. in front of my mom, my parents were so strict. Ooh, no me las iba a acabar. And, like, I, I don't think I've ever been like a get drunk buzz type of no. person. So, like, maybe once or twice, but when I was older, but, oh, like, the chamaca, hell no. Because if my mom caught yeah, me, yeah. I probably would have never seen the light again. <laughs> my parents, like, you guys know our parents. They're super fun, and they're, like, they're loving and everything. But when we were younger, they were so strict. And, like, me and Yuati used to hate, like, the way they were with us when we were younger. But now that we're older, we obviously appreciate it and we realize it because... They did it to protect us. Yeah, they did it to protect us. And I feel like we were guided in the right way. I feel Definitely. like they raised us how they wanted to. And even they always think, like, my parents are so sweet. They're always like, we're so thankful for your guys and how you are. Even just like how we are Yay. with them, the relationship. And so I feel we like if anything, it. yeah, our relationship has gotten amazing so with my better. parents. Yeah. Like, amazing. But because of the way they raised us. Before I forget, another, <laughs> I love this story <laughs> of me and Louis. This is how you know our bond was like, it was so good. The time we got caught sneaking out oh, yeah. of my room. <laughs> okay. So that night, <laughs> I was planning on sneaking out con un niño mocoso. I was a senior in high school and I was like, going to go like hang out with him. Uh -huh. And so every time I snuck out, sorry, mom, mm -hmm. I had like this plan already thought out. Like, what time am I going to bed? What time I'm leaving? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and to make sure that it was safe to sneak out at around like 1130, I would go to my kitchen to make sure ghost is clear. My parents are asleep. And I go and Louis is on his phone. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, why aren't you asleep? And then he's like, what are you doing? And then I was like, I'm going to sneak out. And then he was like, oh, me too. And we were like, what? Like the same day we were planning on sneaking out. So I guess we had both already done it, but we didn't know we were like. Yeah, we didn't it. know. And then Louis was just like, I've done it before. And I was like, oh, me too. And then like we bonded over like how she would do it and how I would do yeah, it. Yeah, we were all talking about our strategy. And we were like, what the fuck's good? And like we had some of the same strategies, like how we would quietly leave and leave like yeah. just our strategies. And that so inspired funny. my sneaking out at 3 a.m. videos because oh, we already yeah. knew how to sneak out. <laughs> yeah. But... Uh -huh. But anyways, we were getting ready. And then I was like, well, and then the guy that I was talking to at the moment had a car. So then I was like, if you want, like, just come sneak out with me. It's better if like we both do it together. And then I'll give you a ride to your friend's house if you want to like sneak out too. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. he was just like, okay, I'm down. <laughs> Ew, I hated that. <laughs> but yeah, dude, we snuck out and like I had this plan. I was like, shut up and bounce. We went through my bedroom. We had, I had like a big ass window in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. And I left like the TV on. No, my parents would never know. And we like snuck out together. We climbed the fence together. We're all helping each other out. Long story short, we successfully sneaked out until it was time to come back home. That's where we we were out for a long time. I think we left like around one in the morning, and we yeah. came, we would always come back before like five. I yeah, think. before like the sun started to rise, because my parents would wake up early to get ready for work or whatever. Yeah, so we were like, go. Oh. Like we, I remember yeah. I would set an alarm, be like, fuck, fuck, and then it's I, time. And then you'd text me in like, case I'm we fell asleep way. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then I picked him up and it was time to come back. We had successfully done everything <laughs> until it was time for us to come back. We jumped the fence back and I opened the window to get in. Y creo que ya nos habíamos metido los dos, right? Mm -hmm. Nos metimos a mi bedroom. But for whatever reason, one of us made like a loud ass noise. No, you, you tripped when you were coming in. Oh, I tripped. And you yeah. knocked something down. We were like, fuck. And we're like, oh. Yeah, we started panicking. We started panicking and like cerré la ventana. Like I closed everything really good. But my mom still heard. Mm -hmm. And like my mom came through the, the door and she was like, ¿Qué está pasando? And because my like, parents' room was right next to her. It was right room. next to hers. And I just like panicked and I was like, no, nada. And then I think she went to go talk to you in your in your room. Mm -hmm. Yo me quedé like panicking in my room. And then I was like, fuck, what are we going to do? Like my mom was going to kick my ass. And I guess you came, I remember Louis came up with the story and he said, es que yo así se iba a escapar yeah, porque no se estaba okay. sintiendo bien se yeah, iba yeah, a escapar yeah. pero yo le dije que no se escapara so yo la paré antes de que se fuera like no, no, no. basically stopped it because she, she said she said that I guess she didn't want to throw me under the bus yeah. so she was like I'll just say that it was me so uh -huh. I was like that's all she told me before my mom like separated us Yeah. so I knew that's the story that she was going into but I also didn't want to completely throw her under the bus and be like she's gonna go get Chile <laughs> so then that's why I was like she wasn't feeling good like she needed someone to talk to and blah yeah, blah yeah, yeah, yeah. and then so I was like and I just like wanted to stop her yeah. but I feel like my mom just like I, I think it was one of those things where my mom was like fucking mad but she, I think she understood that we were like having each other's backs Yeah, like we're so there. she was like just let it slide because I had a bitch I had my sweats on and a hoodie like she knew yeah and me too I also had sweats on sweats on sweats on sweats on and a hoodie so I feel like she didn't want to question us any further, but it was obvious that I had, like, gone as well. But yeah. she didn't really, like, question us that much. She just kind of let it slide. And that's when I feel like the beginning of, like... A ah, beautiful friendship. No, it was just, like, when you both got each other's backs like that. And I feel like at this point on, like, I'm telling you guys, me and you guys were doing so much crazy shit when we were younger <laughs> that we both kind of had, like, I guess, dirt on each other. Oh, we did. So our secrets kept us closer. Yeah. Like, I was like, le voy a decir a mi mamá. Oh my god, and then we would do like this thing. I don't know if you remember. We would do um Oh wait, well before I get into that, I also do want to say we're not encouraging y'all to sneak out and shit. Absolutely not. When I, a chingar if not you only that. that, but like you don't know, like a lot of shit could happen and like going behind your parents' back I is feel like, scary. Well, I don't know if it's because I'm more mature, but for yes. sure now I am more scared Me of that too. than Well, you know what it is, honestly, because when I went to school and I was studying and stuff, I guess when you're in that teenage years, mm -hmm. you don't really think of the consequences consequences when you're in those moments. Yeah. And when you mature, you start thinking more of the consequences. Mm -hmm. Pero cuando estamos mocosos, I feel like we're just like, let's do it. And you don't really think it's of like, like what could happen. It's like an adrenaline rush. Like, yeah. Yeah, like uh, ho hopefully this like helps you guys if you're like in this situation right now where you're like having fun. Because yes, it is fun. I had a great time and memories and shit. But like you also don't know what could happen, especially so like nowadays. And like now that I'm, dude, and I talk about this shit with my friends all the time. I'm like, how is it that back then when I was younger, middle school, high school vibes, I had the balls to do all this crazy shit, yes. and now uh, fuck no, bitch. I will never. Absolutely not. You guys, I literally have. I live in my own house now. No parents. My parents respect my privacy so much. Like my parents will never come in here. Like, ¿Qué está haciendo? like no, none of that. Yeah. I have. I'm single. Like, I could literally either bring people into my house or quote unquote sneak out and do whatever fuck. But bitch, I ha I will not, and I cannot do that now. Like, then, I will not. Yeah, and then my fault too. I watch too much like true crime and documentaries. Oh yeah, that's just but dude, scary. I'm just so scared mm -hmm. of like anything happening. Que me van a robar or like something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. So and I, I we used Ooh. to think like oh, our parents are so like strict and annoying because we like I said my parents were really strict. But now like I fully understand. I I'm like a hundred percent. So and do not do it. No, and we had a talk with my parents. Because we eventually confessed to them about all these things, <laughs> about the partying, about the sneaking out. Yeah. Like, now my, we were old enough to, like, laugh about it, but it's when Andrea was kind of going through her teenage years. So we talked to my parents because, like, Andrea was starting to go through that teenage phase and being like, oh, they don't let me do shit. Yeah. So we kind of talked to my parents. We're like, look, you guys had us really, like, tied up. And, like, obviously don't let Andrea do whatever she wants. I was like, but give her a little bit of freedom because mm -hmm. that way she'll trust you guys enough to ask you for permission, one. And two, like... Not do shit behind your guys' back. It's better for, like, your kids to be honest, you and, know? And, yeah, my parents, like, we couldn't even really do sleepovers as much. Yeah. But my parents would let Andrea go to sleepovers. They would let her, like, hang out with her friends really late at night. She would go to, like, concerts in yeah. downtown Santa Cruz. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't do that. I couldn't but do that. At that point, like, I feel like I would have been jealous, but 
I was already old enough to be like, you know what? Like, I rather her do that than do the shit we were doing. Yeah. And Andrea's like yeah, the baby of the sure. family. So me and Yoati are always like a little more overprotective over oh, her. Oh, hell yeah. Even though Andrea's like a really independent person, she can take care of herself. But She's like, so good at taking care of herself. And I, I think it's all because of the trust my parents gave her and like yeah. as us giving her more like advice and mm-hmm. shit. But yeah, we did some crazy ass shit. And so don't do it. There's too <laughs> many guys, crazy people out there. A lot of crazy shit. But what I was going to say earlier is that I remember me and you would have like this weekly thing. I don't know if you remember. I would go into your room and we would just talk about like oh, shit yeah. that would happen, whether it was good stuff or bad stuff. We just have like a, a little podcast. Ah. Uh, we're already like manifesting. <laughs> I know. It. No, it was almost like a therapy session. It was. We I'm were like, like, so what's so the how, tea? Yeah, we're uh, like, so what's, how was your week? And like, I don't know. It's so crazy. I'd be like, I got five chiles this week. Ah, <laughs> for real? She no? would just tell me like her boy problems, <laughs> chile boy means. And, like, <laughs> and I think what made us even closer was the fact that um, Yoatsi was my first family member that I came out to. Yeah. So I feel special. It gave me like a sense of like, oh, like, because I really was not expecting her reaction, you guys. I really Aww. thought she was going to be like, fucking bitch, like beat me up. <gasps> yeah, no, I it's hate just, you for that. In that moment, no matter how much love someone has shown you guys, like, for all my LGBTQ plus people out there, you guys know as much love somebody has shown you, sometimes when you're scared to come out of the closet, you just think they're going to automatically hate you and, like, disown you. Oh. So it was so scary for me. But I think once I came out to Yuatsi and it was such a genuine reaction and, yes. like, genuine reaction. I mean, it was such a um, a loving Gen- reaction yes. that it just made me be like, mm. like, so it made me feel ah. more, like, comfortable and that I could trust her. And I feel like... Yeah. That really made my bond with not only her, but the rest of my family so much stronger. Mm -hmm. But especially Yuati. Yuati never really questioned me. No, well, (laughs) Yuati and Andrea, both of y'all, they never really questioned me and, like, my life choices or what I was doing or, like, makeup. Like, Yuati was the one who taught me how to do makeup and stuff like that. So with my parents, it was a little harder because yeah. it was a lot of questions like, what are you doing? I was actually excited when he told me that he was going to start doing makeup. Oh, yeah. Because he would ask me for tips. I was supposedly the MUA del año, eh? <laughs> she, she was good at makeup. I was all right. Like, in the in esos tiempos, mm-hmm. I guess I was like, okay. I was already, like, messing with the Naked Palettes by Urban Decay. Like, those mm-hmm. were my go-to palettes. Like, I had a little collection of palettes of eyeshadow and brushes and all that. So then when Louie was like, hey, like, um, can you help me, like, do my eyeshadow? Yeah, I was like, ah, I was so excited because, like, nobody in my house wanted to mess with makeup. My friends didn't really do their makeup. So I was like, hell yeah. I was like, I was all excited to teach him. And I remember her literally telling me that, like, as she would always teach me. She'd yeah. be like, this is so cool. She's like, I've never been able to talk to makeup to anyone. Like, yeah. I guess in the house, because Andrea wasn't doing makeup. My parents obviously didn't really care for it. Yeah. And my mom, she, I mean, she just had, like, her simple makeup routine. Yeah. So she was like, this is fun. Like, And she was <laughs> teaching me about all the palettes. And, like, Yoati gave me my first oh, yeah. brush set. How cute. And, you guys, biggest heartbreak of my life. Ever since she gave me that set, I always told myself that I was going to, um, to save that brush set. Almost like a little... Memory. sentimental memory like forever yeah bitch i remember i remember my favorite one was a concealer brush from that set yeah and i went to a hotel because I, <gasps> I was still using them during like my, my tour the baddest perras tour oh when you did your you were doing for your eyebrows no? oh yeah it was yeah. and um i think i left my whole makeup bag in one of the hotel rooms or something like that and i just <gasps> i lost and them. i as you were talking to me i just got a flashback and i remember what makeup brush you know which one it was like nude with like gold yeah Yeah. i just remembered i got it on amazon oh really i wonder if it's still there and she gave me like um a few brushes and like eyeshadow brushes and stuff Uh, like that's how i was like practicing i was like go be an mua you got this (laughs) yeah it was really good practice for me and like she would show me how to do my makeup so that's like another really cool like bonding moment we had yeah with makeup, the makeup and then obviously after that it was like our social media stuff and that made us bond even closer um because made i pushed us be her popular. Ah. <laughs> from tiktok <laughs> i pushed her to like continue doing like her social media as well and just like have fun with it thank goodness you did or else i'd be at <laughs> applebee's still oh they treated her so bad at applebee's they did and like look even to show you guys like our bond like i oh. feel like we both we both looked for each other for a lot of things. Yeah. At this point, like I said, like I was already older, so like we could bond over more things. So she would ask me certain questions about certain things, or I would ask her questions. Like with college, we would ask each other a bunch of stuff and relationship advice too. Uh, oh yeah, we would ask each other a lot of relationship yeah. advice. Yeah. Oh, we were ta- we were talking about how our weekly little 
therapy mm. sessions in my room. Yeah, that was but like, like during all that. Yeah, a lot of it was also like just relationship advice and I would help out Louis and sometimes I would just vent to Louis mm-hmm. and I'd be like, help me. Even though he didn't really have that much experience because he was younger than me, but he would still, like a therapist, I would tell him, he'd be like, oh, why don't you try this? I feel like that's one thing I take a lot of pride in. I, um, I'm very... um how do I say it? I'm very wise with my words. I feel like I'm good at giving people good advice. And wait, I just remembered something. I don't know how I remember this, what? but I even posted it on my Facebook. This is how long, how long ago it was. So he was, this is how good he was at giving advice. And like with his words, I remember I was having like trouble with like, I think an ex in like senior year, junior year. And I didn't know if I should go back to him or not. And I was just like going back and forth. And then Louie gave me this like crazy little visual little advice moment. He was just like, well, a ver si te acuerdas. I know, I'm trying to remember. He was just like, well, the way I see it is your ex is like a candy, right? Oh, yeah, a bag full of candies. And then he was like, you grab the candy, you tried it, you didn't like it. You're not going to put it in the bag. You're going to throw it away. And you're going to grab a new candy and try yeah, it. Yeah, oh my God, sick. I remember sick that. Me. Yeah, that's crazy how I remember, I remember that. that but I was like, when he told me that, I was like, oh, a whole new world. Because I'm telling you, I'm a fucking visual person. Yeah. And I remember I was try- trying to give her advice and explain it to her. Like a little analogy is what he was trying to yeah, do. Yeah, like, oh yeah, that's sickening. I remember I remember yes. that very vividly. She literally, was, that was literally her reaction when I told her. I was like, oh, She's you're, like right. you're right. And like, I I really took it to heart when he told me that. I was just brainstorming the whole like night. And I was like, you're right. I definitely should not go back. Because ya lo probé y no me gustó. It was like a... It was you. She was going through a really big heartbreak at that yes, time. Yes, I was. And I, I think it was like your who? first relationship, yeah, right? Yeah, I know exactly who, who it was. Yeah. And I t- literally told her, I was like, "Men are like candies. I was yeah. like, you have a bag full of them. I was like, try <laughs> it. If you don't like it, throw it away. But like, you're not gonna get the candy back from the trash can and like bite it. Exactly. Ah, I'm like, maybe I should take my own advice. <laughs> <Is that right? laughs> Everyone's telling me sure enough. And he, um, I thought it was like such a nice little analogy that I remember posting it on my Facebook wall. I think that's what it was called. But I posted, I was like, guys, so my little brother said, and I posted it because I thought it was like genius. Ah, we should put that on a shirt. Ah, for real. (laughs) That was good. No, yeah, that was kind of sickening. Wow, I was so wise. Ah, freaking mocoso, like 10 years old, all wise. Literally. But yeah, I feel like, um, uh, like our little, like, relationship through college we got really close as well and then like you actually helped me get like my first job oh my god i was in high school i was i think a senior in high school yeah because you had to be a senior to work at kmart yeah Yeah. so i was a senior and she helped me like how to apply and like how to get in there who to talk to she she talked to like the managers like hey my little brother's applying like if you guys can get him in get him in blah blah blah. i get like a recommendation vibe and i got in i got my first job i felt really sickening because um not a lot of people in my school were working yeah but um yeah i had like my first job there and then after that you ended up moving to applebee's like she mentioned earlier and then i tried getting it like i just wanted to follow what she was doing because yeah. well one i felt safe and two like we we had a really close bond at that time like we would go to work together sometimes like we would even Yay. try to get our schedules the same the so we same. could drive together and um leave and he together. would help me at my work oh yeah, yeah. with your sections yeah like yes. sometimes because i worked in like the jewelry department and yeah, you yeah. had your own little department uh-huh. what was it um it was like the stupid ass apartment <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. apartment <laughs> <laughs> it was like my nobody would really visit my department so it was, it was so like easy the hardware yeah. or like housewares it was like all like, like um machines like the spray paints like tires hardware. yeah hardware so like not too many people would go there or I would have to do like the the kid the toy section and like the fishing and all that sh- section. Yeah. Or he would sometimes just do online orders in the oh, back. Oh, yeah, I would just hide in the back. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but but sometimes we had to have like those sections cleaned by the end of the night. Or mm-hmm. do they were so mean? You're like you can't leave till you're done. Yeah. Like, or like oh all our God. our go backs and all this yeah, shit. Yeah. So sometimes I like was not able to. And then I think when Louis started working there is around the time that I was already pregnant yeah. with Travis. So like, dude, me cansaba un chingo and like I couldn't finish. So if he would finish, he'd be like, "You need help." And I was like, "Oh," and he would come help yeah. me like clean up or put my go bags away. And I wouldn't tell like ah, the store writes me a letter because I wouldn't <laughs> tell the managers that I was done with my section. I would just like sneak off and go to her section to mm-hmm. like help her, or I'd be like, "Like, what are you doing?" Like yeah, while she was yeah. just in the jewelry department, and um, I would say that i wasn't because if i told them that i was done they'd either make me go do online orders or i have to go to the register like some or yes. clean some shit they would make them so do something else i was like why well, go help someone else and i can just help my sister so then i would go and like help her put your little socks back in the section do you remember yeah. the socks the little like, socks uh, i was like, like i need to do re-wraps or whatever yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with your little gun 
<laughs> I remember that stupid guy. Yes, I was like, Ch- dude, she was doing rerabs like every fucking second <laughs> of the day. Yeah, they would take like one pair and shit. Yes, so that was my job. Like, if somebody would do that, uh, I would have to rewrap them or like put, put new like tags. a new price. So I was like, Ch- 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 and, and because of that, I couldn't clean the rest of the department because I was doing that for like I don't know how long. Yeah. And then I would also help her um, when we were closing up the store. She would have to put all the jewelry on the bottom oh, shelf. Oh, yeah. So I would, like, help her, like, do all that shit. Yeah. And, like, and technically, that's all bad. But we weren't supposed to have anybody help us because some of the jewelry was, like, expensive oh, like, jewelry. jewelry. And, like, it had Sorry diamonds it. and everything. But I'd be like, just come over here and help me. And he'd help yeah. me, like, put stuff away. Because <laughs> yeah. the sooner the better. And we'd get to go home. Oh, yeah, that's true. We would, like, go home sooner if, like, we all finished quickly. And yeah. She would, like, tell me about, like, the jewelry and, like, everything. I don't know. She's, like, Sterling Silver and uh, Super Tuscana. Ah, like, Super Tuscana. I remember. All Olive Garden. <laughs> it was, like, all these weird gems and shit. And I was, like, okay. It's crazy. But then Applebee's, it didn't work out for you. <laughs> but that was, like, a blessing in disguise. A blessing in disguise. 100%. Because I was going crazy. I was, like, I need another fucking job. And I was, I like, money. she had already left Kmart. So I was kind of, like, sad in there. And I didn't really talk yeah. to a lot of people. But I was over Kmart, you guys. Kmart was, like, high school it. part two. Yeah. And I would, ugh, they were not paying me mm-hmm. enough at all. And they would treat her like shit. Yeah. Specific. What? Eh. Well, because we're kind of talking shit about Kmart. It wasn't Kmart. It was like a certain manager. It was one manager. The other managers were life. nice. Yeah, a lot. Of the other ones were super nice, but there was one in particular that, yeah. for whatever reason, like to pick on me and like yeah. to make my life like a living bully. hell. And I was nice, so mm-hmm. I feel like también gente se pasa. When you're nice, they step all over you and they want to be nicer. I mean, like, a nicer. They want to be, be nicer. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be mean to you. I think because they want to get like a reaction out of you or and something. Like, I hated that certain manager because like this is like Big Brother Louis stepping up. Because, like, Yoati wouldn't stand up for herself. And, like, she yeah. was pregnant. So obviously, she was also really emotional. So, like, the manager would, like, pick on her. And then, like, she would make, like, Yoati wouldn't stand up. She'd just cry. Yeah. She'd either cry and, like, leave or go to her break or, like, just, like, struggle. Mm-hmm. So then I'd be like, Ugh, And I would start telling them all shit or whatever. And that manager, for some reason, would, like, eat my ass. Not literally, but she was, like, She in liked love with you me. a lot. Yeah. And then I was like, you know, that's my sister, right? And she's like, well, you guys are so different. I was like, we're literally the exact same. Like, yeah. I was trying to figure her out and be like, why are you being, like, like that to her? And, like, she would always, like, be like, hey, you see. And then she'd be like, oh, my God, Louie. And I was like, shut up. I don't but, fuck with she, people. She like wasn't that. like that with me at the beginning. She was so nice because she knew my mom from Mi Pueblo. Uh-huh. So she would tell me, like, oh, my God, you're a really good worker. Like, I really like you. You're going to be one of the good employees here. Yeah. So, honestly, low key, I feel like it just, I don't know. Something. No sé qué chingados pasó. But something, yeah. somewhere in there, she was like, I hate her all of a sudden. And, like, she would, like, turn everything against Yuatsi for, like, the smallest thing ever. But, yeah, I feel like that's how close I was to Yuatsi or, like, um, I feel like I even cut off so many people in my life who, like, if they like, were, like, rude to her or, like, Good. didn't like her for whatever reason. As siblings should, yeah, because in I was my just, opinion. Like, yeah, like, obvi- uh, well, obviously everyone's relationship with their siblings a little. It's really crazy to me, actually, yeah. getting on that topic. Um, I get a lot of really sweet messages from you guys being like, wow, I love the relationship you have with yeah, your sister." every time we, like, film together yeah, or something. Yeah, people are like, oh, I wish I had that with, like, my brother or, like, yeah. my sibling. I'm like, that's so crazy because I feel like we grew up in a very family-oriented home. So yeah. it's really nice. So, I don't know, it makes me sad. I wish that everybody could have could experience, experience like, it. Because it's yeah. like you really do have each other's backs and, like, it's what makes you guys closer and... We're hoping, sure. not hoping, we will be having Andrea, Andrea in one, in one episode. of the episodes. And we really want you guys to dive into her little world and how we were with her. We're going to dig into her brain. Yeah, I feel like that. She, you guys know Andrea doesn't really talk a lot, but I feel like this is going to be sickening it's to like, have Andrea, her open up about it. Yeah, everything. and Andrea's like, she's like one of us, but different. I feel like sure. all three of us are very different. I feel I like... I want you to describe yourself, and I w- I'm going to describe myself. Myself? Yeah, because I'm, I'm saying we're all really different. So, like, I kind of, I want to describe Andrea, but I'd rather wait until she's in an episode to really have okay. her explain herself. But, like, how would you, like, describe it? Like, your style, the way that you carry yourself, your... Th- Pretty. Ah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm like, well, there's I that. feel like, well, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, I'm just an Adam. Uh, ah! No, not an Adam like Addy. Addy? I mean, like, I'm like Adam Mario Casey. <laughs> Adam, Adam. Like, Adam, come out. No, <laughs> I meant like the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm like hello. No, I meant like anatomy and Adam. <laughs> like we're all made. Of- <gasps> oh, what? <laughs> I thought it was a spider. <laughs> I got so scared. I saw something. I was like, oh. I was like fucking Daddy Long Leg. No, but how am I? I would say I'm pretty like mom. Mom stuff. Bitch, that's not a personality. 
<laughs> I get nervous She's when like, I have I'm to. Moms. <laughs> <laughs> when I have to describe myself, I get nervous. I hate it. Like when they're like, describe yourself. In I like know. Five are words. you all red? <laughs> you literally turned so red. <laughs> I'm a tomato. You can't. You can't see it on her face because of the foundation. But you can see it on her neck. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. I feel like I'm pretty girly and I'm pretty like outgoing. But overall, I have that like very nurturing vibe where I love to like take care and like mm-hmm. very nurturing. And I think it comes from like my kids and like, you're all bird. <laughs> like, my, like my siblings too so i feel like i'm like that but i'm also outgoing and i like to be funny i don't like to be like all city of vibes is that good <laughs> <laughs> i'm like <laughs> need to live in a work no i feel like the way i'll describe myself um yeah. all right I, had crickets. I know i'm like well that's the end of the pot no i feel like um how do I describe myself? I'm, I have a very unique sense of style, I feel. And it's something Definitely. that I take pride in. I was bullied for it, like, all my whole fucking school life. So I feel like that's why now I I take pride in my unique sense of style. Like, I like being that girl who, like, pulls up to a party and is like, what the fuck are you wearing? Or, like, Period. why are you wearing that? But I'm like, sorry about it. Like, I'd rather stand out than, like, hide. So there you go. Like it's very Leo of me. Oh, like, yeah. Very Leo of me. I take pride sure. in that. Um, I feel like I'm very outgoing and... Right. I love meeting new people. I feel like a lot of people feel like I'm bullshitting when I say that because I get anxiety. And And I was about to say, I get anxiety. And and that's like, (laughs) I love meeting new people, you guys. Or like, I love making new friends. Or I love when like, I run into you guys and you guys just want to like, have a full on conversation with me. I think that's so cute. cute. Yeah. But there's been people who like, either haven't approached me because they think I look mean or they take it wrong when I get really anxious. Do you think we look mean? bitch everybody tells me i look mean do i i need to tell you guys a little story right now i think we just have like a resting bitch face which sucks and i think one we might have like a resting bitch face and two we both get anxiety so much anxiety people like i don't i don't really get a lot of anxiety when it's like one or maybe two people come up to me Mm -hmm. but there'll be times when it's a lot of people and i get a lot of anxiety and i feel like sometimes people want will like what's the word perceive it or yeah they'll like think they'll it's take it as like they don't want even want to talk but yeah. it's like oh i wish people who like who don't get anxiety could like step could in and there's see. been times but i feel so bad where like i can't remember the last time but we were somewhere crazy and he got surrounded by like a big old bola of like supporters that obviously love him and wanted to say hi but it got so intense for him that I remember grabbing his hand and he was shaking. Bitch. Like your hands were shaking. Look, y'all, if you ever run I into me. so bad. If you ever run into me and there's a lot of people. Like if I'm not prepared, like if I know, like when I'm having like an event or like a little meeting or like a show, I mentally prepare yeah, myself yes, way is. before. Mm-hmm. But if you guys ever meet me and it's something like that, look at Like I've gotten a lot better at it, trust me. Mm. But like if you look at my hands, I'm shaking like yes. most of the time. Especially but, if he's wearing nails, you can see the freaking ugh, uñas off the I hate it, but like. It really does suck because some people don't like understand and they just think you're like trying to be rude. But it's to explain to you guys a little bit of like how bad it is. You want to enjoy the moment because like, for example, I'm talking to you guys, the people who understand me and view the stuff that we do and they love it. So you want to have a good communication, but your brain is in like defense mode, not like fight, but it's in panic. Like, how do I get out? Uh Not because I'm hating the situation, but my brain and my anxiety is literally like, like you need to run, like go get help, like my brain like sometimes people will be telling me things and it doesn't even process through my mind because you're panicky yeah you're and like, i'm like panicky. like how do i get out of here not because i'm like i don't want to talk to you guys but like it's just the fucking anxiety you guys like i'm just like uh, ew, like even talking about it, i start shaking like uh, ugh. dude anxiety is such a nightmare it really does suck but well we'll have an episode where we talk about like mental health issues because that's yeah. important and we'll get into that on another episode. or like it'll be yeah not not to like fully get into it but like there'll be like some viewers who like will come up to me and talk to me and I feel like the people who have anxiety see it Mm -hmm. because I've literally had a moment where I was talking to a girl and there was a lot of people. It was so sweet. She literally grabbed my hand. She's like, oh, why are you shaking? Like, she's like, are you okay? Do you have like, are you getting anxiety? And like, I like came back into life and I was like, oh yeah. I was like, I'm so sorry. And like, she didn't even ask me for a picture. Like, I think she just wanted to like make sure that I was okay. And like, she just wanted to have a phone conversation with me. But one, I was, I got sad because I was like, fuck, like people can see it. But like two, like I was like, oh, that was so sweet of him. People, some of you are like literally the sweetest things. Yeah. One thing that I, I'll some know, of you, bitch, no, everyone. A lot of you, <laughs> sorry. Ah, no, most of you. Ah. <laughs> You're still trying to like nitpick at it. I'm like, never mind. Like, what's another sin A lot of you are super sweet, but some of you literally go above and beyond with your sweetness. One time, um, I went to the Bad Bunny concert. Y también, I had like this crazy experience where I met a lot of supporters and I was pregnant with Ella. Dude, I had like such a bad panic attack. Like not, it's not your guys' fault. It's just how we are with our anxiety. Mm -hmm. 
I was panicking so hard. There were so many of you like trying to say hi or whatever. Y también, after a little bit, this family pulled me to the side and they're like, oh, we just want to do like a little prayer for you and baby, uh, your baby. Aww. And I was like, so cute. So like, me, nos abrazamos, like nos agarramos de las manos with their family. It was like the dad and the dad did like a whole prayer for baby Ella. Oh, and it was so, so cute. cute. They were like sending light and positive vibes to my baby. So I was like, oh, that is so freaking sweet. Like some of you will literally go above and beyond. And like, I love that. Yeah. It's so sweet. Oh, yeah, but we, we really appreciate you guys and thank you for being so understanding with us and the way that we are at times because of our anxiety. But talking about anxiety, that's another thing that we've bonded over. <laughs> Dude, our anxiety. We, go, we have the same therapist. I was going to say, that's like another thing we bonded over. Like, we have the same <laughs> therapist. Obviously, we don't really tell each other what goes right. on with like our therapy sessions and stuff. But yeah. um, it's another thing that we were able to bond over and not feel <laughs> crazy about. Like. I don't know. I think I've talked about it before. I think it's therapy could be good for anyone, whether you have anxiety or you just wanted someone to listen or talk to you. It's, whether it's you really have good. trauma or not either. Yeah. I think just therapy is good for everyone. And it like, it's helped us with a lot of things. So high yes, five to has. us. Yes. <laughs> but um, yeah, as you guys heard with all of our little crazy stories right now, we've bonded over so many. So many different things. Yeah. And it's made our, our bond really, really great. So I feel like yes. that's a reason why I'm so excited to like just film this together and we were able to like finally get it going like i said i know <coughs> we've been planning this for a while Bitch, i think our managers and everybody helping us put this they're together all mad at us. us they're like finally it's it took for a <laughs> it's because también what slowed me down a lot was the baby yeah, yeah it was break we've literally been working on this for over a year yeah That's, dude but so we had to make sure baby managers. Ella was. <laughs> we had to make sure baby Ella had a safe delivery and everything. But another thing that was holding us back was like our setup. But we were like, no, yeah, we're yeah, like, we're like, yeah, let's it. do it. Yeah, we're excited. So we were able to finally get our shit set up, and we have it here rolling. And we Yay. hope you guys enjoyed our very first episode. There's gonna be a lot more. This. We have so many great ideas, stories. I guests. Think we're gonna have guests. We're gonna have some good guests. So it's gonna be really fun, and we're also gonna bring Andrea for some episodes. So yeah, you guys so are gonna love it. This. Let us know any suggestions down in the comment section, you guys. It's all going to be very helpful to us since this is, like, our first episode. We would love to hear what you guys want to see more of, um, yes. like, topics you guys want, or um, just any suggestions you guys have. We already have, like, a whole list of things that we want to talk about and stuff like that. But um, as for equipment-wise, we'll have way better lighting. <laughs> we'll have a prettier setup. Uh, so leave suggestions about decor, too. I <laughs> Send us a designer or a decorator. Like, they're like, how about you guys just don't do video? <laughs> <laughs> we don't like what we see <laughs> for real. but we hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of pretty not smart with louis aka the baddest perra and you what make sure you guys i don't know do they subscribe to like podcasts just like subscribe comment everything <laughs> yeah, bro. but yeah and we'll see you guys on the next next one. time we upload peace bye guys yeah, <laughs> we're on youtube video I'm like, <laughs> no yeah but um we'll come up with a better catchphrase but i know we're like how do we end like, this? we'll see you guys next time bye stupidas bye <laughs>